not all of us can be virgins in the body. Not all of us can be virgins physically. But all of us can be virgins in the soul by repentance, by conversion, by changing our ways. Because the virginity of Christians is not about sex. The virginity of Christians is about love that is always respectful, love that is always reverential, love that is always patient, love that is always caring, love that is always compassionate. And when we love with patience instead of haste, when we love with reverence instead of abuse, when we love with care instead of ego, when we love with compassion instead of terrorism, we are virgins in a manner of speaking because our hearts and our souls are dedicated to the Lord. It will be Christmas this week. And on the fourth Sunday of Advent, the Virgin Mary is presented to us as the Mother of Advent. In Manawag, we call her the Mother Who Calls. In the Church, we call her the Mother Who Waits. Mary waits. Mary is called the Mother of the New Advent. Meron po tayong turo bilang mga Katoliko na kailangan nating panindigan, kailangan nating tanggapin, at kailangan nating isabuhay, at kailangan nating ikamatay kung kailangan. Ito po ay sinasabi natin sa credo. Baka hindi masyadong napapansin, isinilang kay Maria laging birhen. Ang ibig sabihin po ng ever virgin ay virgin before the birth of Jesus. Virgin at the birth of Jesus. And virgin after the birth of Jesus. Ito po ay turong katoliko. Yung protestante hindi naniniwala dito. Ito ay tatak katoliko. At hindi tayo maaaring mamuhay bilang katoliko na hindi natin kinikilala at tinatanggap the perpetual virginity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Maliwanag na virginal conception. Maliwanag na virgin birth. Pero ever virgin? Ito ba ang itinuturo sa atin? Opo. Bakit mahalaga ang virginity ng Virgin Mary? Ganito po. The womb must be a virgin because the child was ever virgin. And because the womb was a virgin, the tomb of burial must also be a virgin. Ito ay nakikita natin sa paglilibing kay Jesus. Sapagkat ang sabi po ng Ibanghelyo, He was buried in a tomb that has never been used. It was a virgin tomb because He was conceived and born from a virgin womb. At mahalagang tanggapin natin ito. Pero, Meron pong nagsasabing, eh bakit sa Ibanghelyo maririnig natin merong kapatid si Jesus? The brothers and sisters of Jesus, your brothers and sisters are looking for you. Ang sagot po ay lost in translation. Kasi po, ayon kay San Jeronimo na nagtranslate ng 
ating Biblia, papuntang Latin. Ang Greek na ginamit ay Adelphoi. Pasensya na po kayo, pero maintindihan ninyo ito. Adelphoi. Ano po ang Adelphoi? Ang Adelphoi po ay lahat ng inyong kamag-anak. Ibig sabihin, yung kuya ko, Adelpho. Yung ate, yung bunso, Adelf, Adelpho. Yung pinsan, Adelpho. Yung mga second cousin, Adelpho. Ang lahat ng ito ay Adelpho. Ang ibig sabihin, ang ginamit na salita ay Adelpho. At sa makatuwid, hindi tayo pwede mag-conclude na ito ay kapatid ni Jesus sa dugo kay Maria. Sapagkat maaring ang sinasabi ay cousins of Jesus. Yun po ang una. Kapag kayo ay tinanong, ever virgin, at tinanong kayo, eh bakit merong brothers and sisters of Jesus? Ang sagot ay sa original Greek, ang Adelphoi ay ginamit at hindi ginamit ang salitang brothers and sisters. Pangalawa po, Brothers and sisters of Jesus, sinabi bang sons and daughters of Mary? Hindi. At noong unang taon ng Kristyanismo, ang naging paniniwala ng mga unang Kristiyano, pangalawa ay si San Jose na ama-amahan ni Jesus at kasintahan ng mahal na birhen, ayon sa ibang biblical sources, siya ay mayroong unang asawa at biudo. At kung siya ay mayroong unang asawa at biudo, pwede kang magsabing meron siyang anak. Anak ni Jose, pero hindi anak ni Maria. At madali namang intindihin yon. Minsan sasabihin natin, Kapatid ko po siya sa unang kasal ng tatay ko. Namatay na po ang nanay ko at nag-asawa muli. Kaya kapag sinabing, Brothers and sisters of Jesus, Adelphoi of Jesus, Relatives of Jesus, hindi palaging sinasabi na ito'y anak ni Maria sapagkat maaaring ito ay anak ni Jose. Ibig sabihin, ever virgin. Pangatlo na ginagamit ng mga protestante ay, eh bakit sinasabi ninyong firstborn? Kung firstborn si Jesus, merong secondborn. E therefore, merong sumunod. Ang sagot, mga minamahal kong kapatid, ang firstborn po, ang ibig sabihin noon ay unang anak. Hindi ibig sabihin may pangalawa at pangatlo at pangapat. Ang ibig sabihin lamang po ng firstborn ay unang anak. Kaya po, kung kayo ay magkakaroon ng pagkakataon at pumunta po kayo sa Israel, makakakita po kayo ng lapida ng mga nanay at nakalagay doon sa lapida ng nanay, died giving birth to her firstborn. Yun lang po ay patunay na hindi lahat ng firstborn ay sinundan. E kasi namatay ho yung nanay habang nanganganak sa unang anak. E patay na. Paano nagkaroon ng secondborn? Ibig sabihin, hindi lahat ng firstborn may kasunod. My dear brothers and sisters, ulitin ko po, sa ikaapat na linggo ng Adviento, kailangan po nating yakaping buong-buo at buong paniniwala, Mary Ever Virgin. Before, during, and after the birth, Mary was ever virgin. Ano ang kahalagahan nito para sa atin? Not all of us can be virgins in the body. 
Not all of us can be virgins physically. But all of us can be virgins in the soul by repentance, by conversion, by changing our ways. Because the virginity of Christians is not about sex. The virginity of Christians is about love that is always respectful, love that is always reverential, love that is always patient, love that is always caring, love that is always compassionate. And when we love with patience instead of haste, when we love with reverence instead of abuse, when we love with care instead of ego, when we love with compassion instead of terrorism, we are virgins in a manner of speaking because our hearts and our souls are dedicated to the Lord. In other words, virginity is not about sex. Virginity is about purity of heart. But if your soul has been impure, by disrespect, by pride and arrogance, virginity of the soul can be restored. We who have lost our virginity should regain our virginity by a life of penance and conversion and prayer and charity. Mary was ever virgin, always respectful, always reverential, always caring. Let us return back to the culture of care. Let us bring back the culture of respect. Let us bring back the culture of reverence. Let us bring back the culture of compassion. Because vulgarity, disrespect, impatience are all impurities. Mary, ever virgin, show us the path of true virginity, total dedication to the Father, as you were, as you have always been. Hail, full of grace. The Lord is with you.